love it. I love this yeah. guy's always trying to give me my, my, my flowers, but I love it so much. He's so, such a good guy. But yeah, no, 100%. I think like the, the why I want to take it, um, and I don't want to speak too much on here about it because obviously you don't want to say things and not do it. I think it's better to just do it and then speak about it. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah, but like, uh, it's 100%. Like the, the way the way you can take things, you can take ideas and you can like really improve on it. There's so much possibilities. You just have to have the, like you said, the decision and the dedication and consistency. You know, I wrote this thing and I was like, the secret to success is like, you need originality, mm -hmm. you need transparency, you times that by consistency and that gives you success. You know, yeah, so you yeah. need to have an original idea, you need to be transparent with yourself and other people about how you're trying to get there, get there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then you need to be consistent. Yeah. If you can get those three right, 100% you're going to be all right. Bro, that's going to be my new motto now. Sorry, no, I was just saying that, that that's going to be my new motto. Like, that's actually a shock because I never even thought of it like that, but I'm subconsciously, I was, I've been doing that just like, being real with myself, obviously, like double, like keeping consistent with the work and mm -hmm. kind of setting everything there. But no, hundred percent. I think damn it, that's exactly it. Like I was doing it unconsciously too until one day it just came to me. And um, just to go on that, like I know we've spoke about a lot about your work. I also want to get your opinion on some like some like life stuff too, because I want them to also have an, a, a perception about what kind of person you are too. And then we can start with ambition. And I know you're an ambitious person. The question I wanted to ask you is that we just spoke about consistency and you know, transparency and trying to achieve stuff. Mm. Do you think, um, looking around you at the society that we live in currently, the young men are trying to build stuff, are still trying to build, like we just spoke of right now, about trying to build something, trying to take that and make money or just trying to leave a legacy. Do you think people our age and nowadays think about making a legacy or think about trying to build stuff that last? Or do you think we just, just I don't lead you in the question, but, or do you think we're still just going after money and just thinking about what's the quickest way to get money? Mm. And, um, uh, like, how do you balance that yourself? Okay. Well, this is just from a perception point of view. This doesn't necessarily mean I'm right, but the vibe that I sometimes get from younger men, I do get this um, perspective that everyone's more money influenced. You know, because it's like, let's be honest with you, the only things you see are, that are getting advertised nowadays on like Instagram or YouTube is like forex trading yeah. or like um, techniques and like knowing what stocks to invest in, betting or just kind of stuff where it's just more about like. No, like, I'll be honest. <laughs> I ain't trying to say. I, I, okay, no, I hear, I hear that. I hear that. No, you said push, 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 You sound like a knock. <laughs> the push. Yeah, me, yeah honestly, push it just came more out. Than my work <laughs> <laughs> no, you're funny, bro. No, I mean, I'll be real. Like, some of, a lot of it is a is a lot of waffle, but there is a sense of like sensibility that comes from what they're doing because I do feel like it is good to kind of have some sort of education or awareness of like how to make more money i just think a lot of people get tunnel vision and thinking that money is the most important thing and it's kind of interesting you say that because it's like obviously i'm not trying to go too off track but the mm -hmm. fact that you said young men like a lot of guys mm -hmm. just focus on peas while girls obviously focus more on like perception and how they look mm -hmm. and that's why it's like nobody is really tapping into the skill that they really have. There's this word which is called, uh, um, I think it's called ikigai or something like that. Mm -hmm. It's when you kind of do something which you enjoy and then you profit off it by turning it into a skill and then you obviously end up just doing something which you enjoy. I feel like every single person in this world is capable of obviously doing a specific skill and doing what they like. It's just not everyone is exposed to having the resources that allow them to be able to um, find that skill which they can actually perfect and so sometimes people find themselves in the rat race just working nine to five they're satisfied with like oh yeah i have a girl i have a wife and kids mm -hmm. some people are just doing work in the rat, ra rat race life because they don't have any other opportunities you know people coming from third world countries and stuff mm -hmm. and then you got like um and going back to the young men now obviously the guys who i don't i don't know how to describe them i don't want to say like oh they're the like the insoles or the guys who don't have like yeah. dads um like male figures <laughs> but it's like <laughs> it sounds like <laughs> i didn't mean it like oh God, oh God. but my point is like yeah. the, the those type of man who are like okay everything's all about money and they're just like f everything else it's kind of like they won't like i said before they don't have the resources to obviously allow them to tap into the school where they can profit off learning the school to like actually um, pretty much make money off. I've got a question. Yeah, go on. Do you think? Do you think um, it's not it's lack of resources, or do you think it's a mentality they need to have? Because I think like if you look around the world, right? We live in London. We live in England, right? 
we are one of the most resourceful places in the, on earth. Like, where else are you going to get more opportunity, more resources? It's obviously more competitive than everywhere else, yeah. but you have the ability, if you have the right mentality, to achieve what you want. And so the people that are just going after money, I get it. First off, if you're really going to go after money, you can only make money if you're good at something. So yeah, you have to be yeah. competent at it. So if you go after money or something that you're not good at, mm-hmm. you're not going to make money. People are just going to make money off you. No, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So, like, these people that, like, I, I 100% agree, like, like he's mentioned the word Ike guy, like I think 100%. It's like if you were to do something that you genuinely have interest in, you're more going to put more time into it and that's going to turn out a better product. And that better product is going to, over time, like we said about consistency, over time is going to make you more money. But I think, like, like I, the reason I asked the question, because I look around and I, f- I find it very few people um, are truly chasing after something they want. And I get it, I get it. They, they come up with the same reasons that we just did, you know, about it's hard, you know, you want to get money, so you want to just do a nine to five. But I look and I'm like, bro, like, it's always going to be hard. It's always been hard. The only, the only decision you got to make is on yourself about what kind of life you want. Do you want a life where you're chasing after a goal that you really want to attain? Or you're going to just chase after something that is just, you know, and, and when you get it, you're still going to be sad and lonely and, and you know, not happy. Yeah. So, like, um, actually going off that then, I've got another question about just how it is to be living in London. Isn't it? Like, I know I know that we, like, you know, we speak about success and we see, speak about fame and stuff, but we see everyone, people around us trying to, like, always make it. And once they make it, like I said, they just buy themselves and they don't have anything because it's like it's kind of a cutthroat kind of environment to be in. People like will snake you just to get something from you. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah. speak on that and how you think you know growing up in London has made you aware of that and has it kind of stopped you from trying to chase success? Um, with that, 